surface computing is a whole class of computation that employs these types of displays that I'm talking about. And I'll give you some of the properties. Now, let me try and give you an example. I walk up to the bus shelter. There is a Nike ad on the side, but it's an electronic ad. I pull out my mobile phone, and now I just, because of proximity, right? Because if I get close to this guy, right? We've got a different relationship now than we had a moment ago, <laughs> right? And it's uncomfortable. Our devices have to start responding to that too. So I get close enough to this, and when I click, bingo, it sends a signal to the display. And instead of presenting the mobile ad on the mobile, why would I use this stupid little screen here? Man, I'm, I'm talking about the bus plane. It gives me my custom bus schedule on the parked on top of the ad and then watermarked with the Nike swoosh. So I've got the eyeball in a subtle way, but that's how it works. Now we could be playing Pong or video game at the same time, but I've, I've decided to be conservative here, uncharacteristically so. Now, the thing I'm trying to get at is that it's not about any single screen or any single device. It's not about mobile versus television versus um, newspapers versus advertising. It's about all of these technologies in concert. It's what I call the society of appliances. Have you ever heard the $5 word ubiquitous computing? Where computers are everywhere but they're transparent. That's what this is about. How does my phone, we talked about security earlier, know that I'm connected to that so I can do that, park on that screen, the public screen, grab stuff back and forth and walk away. What do I leave behind? How do I manage the security? What's the underlying infrastructure? But be very clear. If you've tried to hook up your laptop or your phone to a network recently, you understand that we don't do this really well yet as an industry. But when this all can happen seamlessly in terms of the connection, grabbing the screen, walking away, the trust, and then the data collection and the servicing up about the microtransactions, about servicing the ads and so on and so forth, all of a sudden, there's an ecosystem that is phenomenal. And one of the things about Microsoft and why I'm here and what research tries to do is figure out it's the only company that plays in the, all sectors of that ecosystem, and so there's a chance we might, if we do our job right, to be able to come up with an architecture so the platforms that you're seeing announced today can evolve into the things to manage this much larger and richer ecosystem, which ironically, as underlying plumbing gets more complex, for the service and for you, it gets much simpler. The stuff just flows. The technology disappears. Making technology and computers disappear is my job. So you can get on with your life.